Hi, Kat here for Lightwave Digital. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating again with the Chrysler 300C that we had in a previous video. We're going to talk about a filter type that has been included in Lightwave 2024 and up. Uh, this filter is part of the LD Pro Tools system, and it's called LDD Fly Fast. Uh, this is basically a firefly killer or squasher, if you will. Um, here we have the filter added as an image filter and currently we have debug set to off i'm going to turn debug set to on and do a quick render here and we'll see what happens to the final render what we'll get other than just a regular render process is that at the very very end we're going to see a very quick fast yellow post-processing square run through the pixels and tell us which ones are giving us firefly issues and it's going to apply a really obvious indicator of where those fireflies exist to the image. So here you can see it right now. Here we go in red. These are areas that the tool believes have gone above a particular threshold range. And we can start to make adjustments to this. And we can keep dialing these numbers around to see when these fireflies go away or they get worse. And we can change the numerical values the opposite direction. Now, this isn't a total 100% fix for fixing these types of issues in your lighting and or your surfaces, which is where it's generated but it does give you an indication as where you're going to have trouble spots and obviously it'll tell you on the surface because sometimes these fireflies are not easily visible in certain renders so now we've got more red than we have before so let's do a comparison between these two images so using the page up and page down keys while we have the viewer open we can see that the reduction of that threshold Gives us a really good indicator as to where we can have problems with those. So let's try splitting the difference here. Do another quick render. We now get the red indicators where it's gone in and adjusted things to squash it down. So let's take a look at the differences here. There's the first one we started out with, which is um, uh, 0 0.05 for the threshold. Same default value of uh, 4 for the range. And this is now 2.5 versus 0 0.1. 0.01 so we can get a really good idea of what's actually affecting here so once you're done or you found a good value to work with you can turn the debug off and do another render that ready to complete now any of those areas that were normally flagged with that little red indicator will have been squashed down into a range that's normal so now none of these ranges if you look up top here will be out of whack and above 100 percent 
thus getting rid of your fireflies or you know minimizing them to a large degree now you're still gonna have to go in in certain places and fix things for surfaces that are uh, noisy um, don't just throw camera property samples at it uh, you can also work with the buffers and the new reconstruction filters to help it out Ultimately, these types of issues should be fixed at the surface level inside of the shading model for the surface that's giving you problems. I'll just pull this down a little bit so I can shift click it. Okay, for example, this Chrome might be giving us some problems. Underneath the shading model tab, you'll see something called reflection overrides for sampling or refraction overrides for sampling if you're seeing problems there. This is where you would go in and dial that stuff up rather than just throwing camera anti-aliasing at it or perhaps in the Render Globals tab. An excessive amount of global reflection samples. Now, 32 is pretty high for this. I could probably drop this down a lot, um, probably like eight, eight and get what I need out of this especially with the combination of the reconstruction filters. The addition of the overrides. And of course, LD D fly. So let's do one more render here. You should see a significant reduction in render time. No, pretty much. Uh, about the same. But we're letting the render engine at the surface level rather than the render engine using brute force to clean these types of issues up.